In these videos, I'll be covering how to quickly create new design concepts by applying some design theory with the shape generator, which now automatically combines big, medium and small objects to generate even more interesting ideas. In this example workflow, we'll be creating a simple spaceship generator using the big, medium, small settings in the shape generator's new integrated panel iterating over potential designs and then baking our chosen design ready for further editing. This workflow can apply to creating other setups such as architectural pieces or even more organic shapes. In this video, I'll be using the Blender version of the shape generator. However, a Houdini version is also available where you could use the Houdini engine to integrate with other tools such as 3D Studio Max. First off, create a new shape as usual using Shift A to access the Add menu and go to Mesh Shape Generator. As before, a temporary side panel will appear in the bottom left which you can expand and change parameters like the Master Seed to cycle through different random shape combinations. In previous versions, when you click away from this panel, the operation is applied and you can't go back and change it. Now, however, go to the Properties panels by hitting the End key. You'll see a panel called Shape Generator. Select the generated shape if you haven't already and all the parameters are back for you to change as you wish. Let's change some basic parameters. Expand the Extrusion section and set the max rotation and slide settings to zero to get a slightly blockier shape and stretch the object in the Y direction to get a longer shape under the Transform tab. Set the Y scale to about 3 or 4 and set the Z scale to about 0.5. You might also want to bevel the edges a little under the Bevel tab but it's up to you. Now, open the Big, Medium, Small tab, which contains all the settings for adding different size objects onto this basic big shape. The shapes are added hierarchically in collections, one for the large shapes, one sub-collection for the medium shapes, and another for the small. I would recommend having one big shape for now, which is already the base shape we have. Increase the number of medium and small shapes to about 3 each, not too high because the design theory we are following suggests we only need small numbers of shapes to start making interesting objects. Don't go too crazy with the power. You might not see all the objects because the shape we have created is mirrored by default. If you lose your selection and the panel disappears, Clicking on any of the objects will bring the panel back. If you want to clearly see the different collections of shapes being assigned, enable the Use Colouring checkbox, which will colour the different object collections. Note these colours are not actual materials yet, but more of a guide. We'll add materials shortly. Change the viewport shading to Matte Cap, Object, and you should see the different colours in the main viewport you'll see that each collection of objects has a different scale that follows the design theory outlined by Cynix Design, the video for which is linked in the description. We can now play with the other controls on the panel, such as changing the random seed values that drive the generation of shapes for each collection. This is how we can keep collections of shapes we like. Note that because the shapes are added hierarchically, Changing the medium shapes will change how the small shapes are scattered. You can also change the seed values for how each collection of objects are scattered if you wish to keep certain parts of the shape you like. The scale settings for each shape collection can also be controlled. These are set to some default values. One for the large object, 0.5 for the medium objects and 0.25 for the small. I'd recommend keeping these settings to follow the design theory, but you can change them if you wish. Another setting to play with are the Boolean controls. 
Here you could do a Boolean subtraction as the medium and small shapes are added one after another. This can be useful if you wish to carve the smaller shapes into the core shapes. You can control how the Boolean modifiers are applied under the Boolean Operation tab. For instance, you can control whether the original shapes are hidden or switch between Blender's fast and exact Boolean methods. Lastly, you can add materials to each collection of shapes, where setting just the first material slot will add the material to the whole mesh. Here, I've added a basic material that uses my hull texture pattern. I switched the view to rendered so we can see it. When you're happy, scroll up and change the master seed parameter at the very top. This important parameter drives the random element in all other settings, so you can create different random shapes that conform to the customizations you've made here in one go. Remember, you can now always save the file you've made and revisit the setup later, or save the setup as a preset which you can load any time you like. Here, I've loaded the Spaceship 5 preset, which is similar to what we have here and comes bundled with the add-on. Now we have our custom shape for creating a design. We can now move on to the next stage and use the Shape Generator's Iterator function to automatically render out lots of different combinations using the master seed value and choose one we like. We'll cover this feature in the next video and after that we'll bake our chosen object ready for proper editing. See you next time.